I began to study uh, Arabic and my studies increased and I, I was given an opportunity to go to the United Arab Emirates. During that time I met West Africans from Mauritania and I think what, what really struck me about these West Africans is their presence. They actually walked upright. They were walking with, with dignity, with human dignity. They were proud that they were Muslims. And then I'm finding out these people grew up in tents in the middle of the Saharan desert with goats and sheep and camels. And, and, and I'm listening to them talking about fine points of grammar and about the subtleties of the Quran and the subtleties of the prophetic traditions and points of, of jurisprudence in Islam and history. And then one day, a man comes from, uh, from Mauritania who's named Sheikh Abdurrahman. And I saw this man and he had something that was different from even what these other people had. And, and looking at this man, for me, it was like looking at somebody coming out of the seventh or eighth century. And, and I went, who is this man? And they tell me this is the son of one of the greatest scholars of the Sahara, whose name is Anmar Abut al-Hajj. I said, if this is the son, I, I want to meet the father. So my heart suddenly becomes uh, just ignited with this desire to go and see this man. And I set out on that journey. Here's this American kid from Marin County in Northern California in the middle of the Saharan Desert. And here's this Sheikh. And this is the divested man. This is the man who has he has, he's given up the world. He is in a state of complete submission. One of the first things that he said to me after I met him, he said, tell me about your dream. And I had had this really extraordinary dream and the dream was this meeting. <laughs> 